Hello! Welcome back to Vlogmas week two. I don't know what that is. Why am I like this? Like, I don't know how to start a video. Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas week two. Let's get this going. I'm just gonna dive in. I went and got my nails done with my mother-in-law. I have on my really cool halfway rings and I got a gold glitter nail, which looks so good. And we're still doing the powder dip nails. I'm still okay with going to the salon without too bad of a panic attack. I did have a mild panic attack yesterday with my mother-in-law there, but she didn't notice, nobody noticed. I just got a little quiet and broke out to a hot sweat and saw everything go tunnel vision and just had to breathe through it, got through it. Uh, it also was easy to be distracted by how rude they were being to my mother-in-law who wears a hearing aid and couldn't understand or hear them because they had on masks. So she was just like, trying to communicate and didn't understand what they were asking because she couldn't hear them through the mask with the hearing aid. It was a whole thing. So I had to tell them like, you guys got to start, you got to be patient with her, but they were rude. Yeah, I don't want to go too far into it because I could, it'll be like a 20 minute conversation about the things that they were doing. But you guys know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to open up our advent calendar. I loved that little yellow body wash that I got last week. To me, it smelled like a tropical kind of fragrance. So it's very much like beach bum, or what's that called? Bum bum cream. Kind of gave me that vibe. It was very tropically, like you pour it onto your loofah and lather it up and you feel like you're traveling to Bahamas. So let's do the next one and see what we got. I know these aren't like incredibly exciting. Sometimes I watch a lot of like big, big YouTubers and their advent calendars are entire boxes of shoes. Like it's just, but I know that you guys, it's not a comparison game, but still you're just like, let me just open up my little samples here. <laughs> we have an all day hydrator, hydrate and glow, little moisturizer. That's great. These are just so handy for when I travel. I love stuff like that. Let's give it a little, oh, it says it's unscented. Let's give it a little smell, but it is a unscented moisturizer sample. Still gonna smell it. Even unscented stuff has a fragrance. Watermelon eye mask. Ooh, I will do this tonight. I actually do want to use these the week that I have them if I can. So actually maybe I'll use the moisturizer too, just to try it, but we'll do a little eye mask tonight for sure or sometime this week. I might not be able to tonight, but yay, cool. I hope those are fun. I hope that's like a little bit exciting to watch me. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go have some food and take these presents downstairs, wrap them and get some more stuff under the tree. So I got a just big old bag of boxes and I actually have a smaller box inside of here, but I think my husband will know what this is. Um, basically there's a, jeweler that I've been going to that is a New York based small business and I got him a, a more to add to his collection he wears various things on his hands and rings and things like that that I get him and I'm kind of building what we're calling a stack for him anyway that's what's in here is Oh, a piece of jewelry. Last week, you guys, I made this big thing about how I'm only gonna do 100% small business shopping because I have a small business and I thought how messed up. But uh, there's specific articles of clothing that I can only get at Nordstrom. And I had to get my husband this very specific thing. <laughs> and it's not available in a small business. So that's what I got him without saying what it is. So that's why I felt like when I edited that video, I actually did say it, but I, I took it out for some reason because I was on this big like ranting, wouldn't shut up thing. <laughs> anyway, but I did get his cologne at a small business. I got um, that at Nordstrom, but then I got him this and that is a small business based out of New York City. And then I just got my nephew a gift and we went to the local toy store here in Tacoma. We did not go to Amazon or anything like that. We went and picked it out in a locally owned toy store. So I'm batting pretty good. 
I'm batting pretty good. This is going with my theme this year. So I got black and white gingham, a good old fashioned plaid, which you can't go wrong with that. And then this one I thought was really pretty. It's just like Santa and sleighs and Christmas and reindeer and all of that stuff. So I thought that was a really neat one too. So all of these will match my tree and, you know, go with the, uh, the holiday festive theme. So I'm gonna wrap some presents and eat my breakfast. And then we're gonna hit the thrift store. And I'm so excited, <laughs> I'm so excited. Nothing like thrifting for Christmas. satisfied. I am pleased with myself. This I could actually see myself wearing in the Christmas photo. I love the contrasting belt with the red. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The shirt is like bright red and this is almost like an orangey red. So the two together are just looking really, I don't know, is this making it look unique? What would you call Seattle grunge and Christmas? Scrunge? Am I supporting some major scrunch here? Because I'm feeling it. Cute, all right, I feel better, I feel better. This is either really cute or really ugly, but my hormones are telling me that I love this, so we're going with it. I still have to go do that, get some red ribbon for the tree, because I want that to be on the tree when we take the photo. Will that clash with this? I might even, I, I'm gonna find a different top, that's the goal. A different Christmas sweater. Right, that's what we're doing. Okay, thanks. Thanks for setting me straight, I forgot. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go, if I don't find red ribbon, I'm gonna go to the craft store and get some. So here, that's where we're at. You're up to speed. Let's go, let's go do this. I keep finding when I come to parking lots and I wanna to talk to you guys and vlog a little bit, I always find people are sitting in their cars, every time. There's always somebody sitting in their car. So there's a girl sitting in her car in the one spot in front of where I'm trying to go. So I decided I'm gonna circle the lot and park somewhere further away. I get into the only other spot and I look up and a guy is coming out of the store and is fiddling in his trunk for what feels like 30 minutes straight, organizing the back of his trunk. I'm like, who does that? I have never like stood in a parking lot and just like started cleaning. We had some success at Value Village. It was so busy in there, I couldn't even do like my thing where I try to get at least a clip. Um, so, <laughs> oh well. I was not anticipating finding so much stuff at the craft store. This is what I got at the thrift store. So let's start with this. But uh, the first thing I saw that I thought was really cute, a Romeo and Juliet couture cardigan sweater. It's navy blue and tan, two colors that I think go together very well. I'm having a navy blue kind of day. Do you ever do that? Do you ever like wear a certain thing that day and then realize when you shop, it's also the color you keep grabbing for? It's weird how that works. But this is such a nice cardigan. It's really long and I love a belted cardigan. I think that that is my favorite kind of open front sweater is one that just has a tie belt that you can just quickly wrap on and cozy up. Uh, buttons are kind of a little bit too fussy for me. So this is gonna be a staple for me to wear around the house. This, I just need to iron the collar, but I love that it, this has to be it. This ha this has to be it. His shirt is or sweater is navy blue. This is a Tommy Hill figure. Collared little adorable sweater. It's so well made. It has a little golden button on the back. It has nice little 
sweater details on the sleeves. It even has it around the bottom. It's just a really nice sweater, really well made. Nice details to it. Little gold Tommy Hilfiger thing there. So it's just one of those sweaters. It just feels nice, you know? And uh, this is gonna have to be the one. So likely, will Gobi throwing this? Will be Gobi? <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, how cute is this sweater? It is so cozy. I love the sleeves. So nice. This is the Tommy Hilfiger one. All I have to do is get an iron out and like give the collar a little love. But this is my Christmas card outfit for sure. I love all the other stuff, but I'm just going to wear that throughout the month of festivities. But this has to be my card outfit because it matches my husband's sweater and it's just so dang cute. I mean, I just, I forget how much I love collared things and yeah. That is a winner. This, oh gosh, this is a real contender though. Like, look how cute this would be in a photo. It's just a nice pine green, so festive sweater dress, maxi style, buttons down the front, pockets up here, tons of detail. It's called All That Jazz. It definitely looks like it might be vintage. <sighs> pockets. This dress is glorious. I love wearing dresses like this with big chunky boots. Something about it makes my heart flutter. I'm excited about this one. Oh my god. I love this dress. I could have this dress in every color and wear it every day all winter because it is so warm. It is so cozy. It's flattering. It's adorable. It has pockets. Look at how adorable that is. <gasps> With my Prada boots. Oh my God. I live. I live. This is the cutest dress I own. I know that seems far-fetched. I, I, it might seem a little weird, but to me, this is a Sienna dress. A hundred percent. I can, and the thing is, is that I can wear these all throughout the season. So over the next four weeks, I can wear these various Christmassy outfits for all different things because I have a party to go to. I have two parties, but one of them is more like black tie, I think, cocktail attire. So we just have, you know, family stuff happening where I'm going to want to dress a little bit more put together. This dress is just a paisley, which I'm usually not into, but there's something about this dress that is just so cozy. Does it have pockets? It has to. It does. <laughs> and I liked that it was green paisley. I just thought it would make for a nice Christmas sweater or a Christmas dress. And it's a maxi dress. All right, and here is the other green dress. I just tossed a harness on with it just to see if I liked that. And I do. I actually do like the way that that cinches it in a little bit. It's a very flowy dress. It's really lightweight, so I would want to wear some pretty thick leggings with it if I were going to be walking around in December or January in it. But overall, it's super cozy, and I really, I used to hate paisleys. I think paisleys just reminded me of, like, hippie grandma. <laughs> no offense. And I really like the collar of this dress. I think the pleating is really cool looking. So I'm going to be on the hunt for some camel colored knee highs. It sucks because I actually have some in the store, but they're one size too small or half size too small even. So close to fitting and they're beautiful, but they don't fit me. And they would look so cute with this. That's it for thrift stuff. Now let's dive into the craft store stuff. So I went into the craft store only to get ribbon for the tree and gift tag stickers and I have come out with two bags full of stuff to decorate with to put in gift bags or put on presents I can't show some of them because there's a couple people who are getting gifts that watch my videos so I can't show you some of them but just know I got two really cute things that you can't see but I found ribbon and I ended up going for some gingham red ribbon and they're not velvet like I had wanted but the velvet red bows that they had I just felt so cheap you know I felt like if I'm gonna buy a nice bow for the tree let's just get a little bit more quality 
and these ones are just way better in quality so these are going to be perfect to add that little just something to the tree that it's missing it's missing something so that's going to be perfect then these tote bags i just thought would make for such little good carry bags for presents so if we're like filling this up and then traveling because we're going to go see family that we can put their presents in here and just that will be like the gift way to like bring everything with us and plus i needed it to carry everything around they had no shopping carts available so i was like well we have our i don't, didn't realize i was having such a like red <laughs> flannel thing this year i didn't know that was what i was going for it's turning out i am can't help it but this is going to be the card that our Christmas card is going to be inside and it has this window so it'll be perfect because we'll have the photo in here and then yeah so people will get our Christmas cards this year in this lovely wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year kind of card. Every, everything at the store was 60% off which is why I went so wild with everything because it was so cheap like these were originally a dollar 99 but they were 60 percent off and they came up at 80 cents 80 cents so i have these christmas tree ornament hangers we needed those i got merry christmas stickers to seal the envelope shut with i don't have a christmas apron and I, they were 60 percent off so this apron was like eight dollars and it's so cute and i can wear this over all of my nice clothes that I tend to cook in. Tonight we're having steak bowls. I'm gonna try out my new apron. I don't have a Christmas tea towel and this was just so cute. It's like this artistic looking Santa and he's so happy. Look at how happy he is with his presents. Oh, he's just the happiest old jolly man. <laughs> I can show you this without telling you who it's for. One of them's a giveaway, so I cannot. The person that sees it would know it's for them. But this one, this person won't see it. I thought this was the coolest ornament. It's a taco. This is a gift for somebody. <laughs> I just thought it was so cool. And then this one I got for us, because we, I feel like every year we need to at least buy ourselves a new ornament. And so I got us an avocado Christmas tree ornament. Isn't that so cool? It's like glittery and it's got that classic ornament vibe to it that you guys know I love. Uh, this year I'm gonna be making Buckeyes. I think I'm actually gonna do that this weekend because Emily and I are talking about having one of our Skype call Christmas get togethers. So she's in Georgia she's my best friend and we Skype each other and we'll talk for like four hours <laughs> and cook and chat and it's like we're hanging out so she said she's gonna bake cookies I was thinking about making some uh, Buckeyes Buckeyes are like a big thing in my family so I was gonna do peanut butter and chocolate dipped Buckeyes I made them one year and they were just so freaking good so I'm gonna do it again oh and I also thought it would be nice to make some festive pup cake pup cakes Oh, I could make pupcakes. Well, I might just do that. I can make pupcakes and human cupcakes with, since I started going for it with the pattern, I just grabbed a bunch of things in this pattern and just made it my theme. So I thought those would be nice. That was all the stuff that I got at the thrift store and craft store. And I am going to go relax. I have a video that I made this morning that I'm going to edit. I have to make dinner at some point. Oh, tomorrow I'm getting up really, really early. I have to be in Seattle at 7 a.m. And it's an hour commute with traffic. It's going to be pretty bad. So I have to get up really, really early. <laughs> but that's okay because I don't mind. I think that's it for today.
I didn't do much today to look presentable. All I did was go to the grocery store. Yesterday was a bit, a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest. I didn't film anything at uh, the makeup gig or Se and going to Seattle or any of that because actually I think I got one clip of the Amazon spheres, which are these really cool globe buildings that have huge plants inside. It's actually the coolest thing <laughs> and it's Amazon. But um, yeah, the spheres are cool. I'll insert that footage so you can see it. And then it took me uh, two hours to get to Seattle for some reason. It's usually 45 minutes. So I was late and I hate being late. It makes me stressed out. And uh, I didn't have any road anxiety, but I had some Magic Mind. And a fresh shipment of Magic Mind just arrived. So I have enough to get me through anything I need for the next at least month or so. Thank goodness. But I did make up on kids. <laughs> I had a whole family. It was four kids, a mom and a dad, and they were all doing makeup for next season for spring. Actually, it's winter still, so technically two seasons from now. And it was the their whole like clothing line for the next season. And uh, so yeah, it was a family affair, the cutest set. It looked like a little house with a window and a little love seat. And, the kids were like in the cutest spring outfits but um yeah they get children clothing men's clothing and women's clothing and i honestly did not feel on it at all yesterday the lashes that i put on my model i wasn't in, like loving and um, i tried to cover up the band of the lash and it ended up just adding more eyeliner to her which wasn't the look that we were supposed to be doing i feel like maybe um i just didn't hit the mark and i'm bummed about that because it just kind of gave me a little bit of self-doubt but i just like being late and then just feeling off all day didn't help so it wasn't the best i'm kind of bummed but you know you you win some you lose some but i just feel like Everything else went great, like every single thing other than that. And I'm, I'm overthinking it too because they said it was great, so I don't know. I felt weird though. Because your girl needs to let loose. I am gonna be having sparkling blush, 100% apple and cherry juice. <laughs> and then I got two. And then I got this stuff to make Buckeyes. I make Buckeyes every Christmas, peanut butter, chocolate, treats. They're so good and you always end up making like a million of them when you make a recipe of Buckeyes. So I have little gift bags that you guys saw that I'm going to add them to. Hunter brought a gift. It says Dachshund Through the Snow. And he brought chocolates with caramel inside. This is from Gig Harbor, which is a local place up the street. So how nice. Thank you for the chocolate, Hunter. That was very nice. Did you pick them out yourself? You know you can't eat those, right? Oh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Roxy is not allowed to come back because she's been too feisty. I think it's just her old age and her losing her sight. So I'm really missing her. But it's for the best. It's not safe for the other dog. She really goes beast mode on other dogs and the last time she did it I said that was gonna be the last that was really hard to say because I've been watching her for a long time but I just can't have a dog here that like attacks other dogs obviously it's coming towards the end of eighth grade in choir class and there's not Buckeyes. It's not completely frozen just yet, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try the one that's kind of messed up. It's 
come on. That is so good. <laughs> it's better when the chocolate's had more time to harden. Because then it's kind of crunchy when you first bite into it. And that's my favorite part. They are so easy. They're no bake. It doesn't require any baking. You basically just mix it and dip it and refrigerate it. Good morning to all and to all a good morning. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the mother's milk. That is the nectar of life. There, much better. You had to see that weirdly. So now we're back to normal. I forgot I was shooting. What did I shoot yesterday? Where? Whatever, I can't remember. Hi, so yeah, I, um, I actually went to bed at like 8.50. I took a bath with a Christmas Lush bath bomb from last year. I tend to hoard the bash bath bombs. I did stay up still to like, I think 11. And then I was like, oh, I should go to sleep because I was looking at the clock. It's because I was pre-editing this video, which I tend to do. I tend to take my computer to bed and work from there, which is probably not the best thing for like being overstimulated. I know for a fact that I can't TikTok before I go to sleep because if I do, then my mind races. I'm having my coffee, it's 5 a.m. I got up early as hell. I have a lot on my mind and I have something to tell you. And I don't wanna make it very dramatic because this is my life and I don't think anybody else is gonna be like, ooh, <laughs> like is anybody else gonna really, I mean, I'm, you guys will care. I know you guys care. If you watch my videos and you watch me, I think you care about me. Thank you for caring about me. I care about every single viewer, so just, just in case you were wondering, every little tick of a view was like, oh, somebody watched. So I get really excited and thumbs up too. They always like, just tickle my heart. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me this morning, but um, yeah, I still want to make the announcement without like adding a lot of dramatics to it, basically. Um, I'm closing my store and it's all in the delivery of how you announce something and how you handle it. And for me, I feel like the angle that I'm going at is this is what's best and I am just firm in my decision and it's too bad it didn't work out. But on to better things and easier, uh, easier on my pocket, <laughs> really. You guys know that from the beginning when I've moved over to this new space that I got COVID the first week so I didn't even like get to open really that first month. And I think it was even delayed almost two months because then I had to wait for lighting. And so I technically have really only been open in the store a few times because I keep getting pulled away for work. I keep having things to edit. I keep, because I keep like, I'm working with brands and I have to film these videos and edit them and I have to do that at my house. I can't always do it at the store. I can edit at the store. Uh, it's not too distracting with people coming in and out, but now that we have this construction happening that I told you guys about, that's gonna be disruptive. I'm not gonna be able to hear, and I need to be able to hear, and also I need to be able to concentrate, and I am highly affected by light and sound. That's why I have my husband come in and change all the lighting out to dimmers because I just cannot handle bright lights, which is funny because these are bright as hell. Actually, these are soft boxes, so they're kind of not too bad really the foot traffic of people coming in and shopping yes i know it probably pick up a little bit this month but i felt like the construction was going to affect that and right now everyone's just kind of playing it by ear and i don't have the time to do that i don't have time to just wait and see i don't have the money to pay rent on this place and then just shit in a bucket and hope that it works what does that even mean i don't even know what that means what it really comes down to is that there's more reasons to close the store than to keep the store. The only reason why I would be keeping the store is because it's my dream to have a little thrift store. But I just, it's not my dream to run it all the time. I would have to be there every day, open and close for it to have any sort of chance. And I don't have the time to give it because I have to work. 
<laughs> like it's really hard. <laughs> and so the whole reason why I did a store within this tiny little antique store is because it was affordable and that was because like small businesses in there, micro businesses can kind of try things out and see. And I've been saying maybe it was foreshadowing when I moved in, give it a year and see if you can do it. Well, guess how long it's been? It's been a year. It has been a year since I opened my little store in that little corner. And then I moved. Unfortunately, I signed a new lease when I did that. I wish I hadn't. I kind of regret moving. I love the space. It's beautiful. It has so much potential, but it just does not get the business that I need to keep me busy enough, guaranteed, so that I can just stop everything else I'm doing and solely focus on it. I have to do all the other things that I do in order to be able to have the store, but it makes it so that I can't be at the store. So it's just this weird stuck place and it's so fucking sad. So that's it. I'm closing it. I still am going to be doing online paper dolls boutique. Paper dolls boutique is not closing. I would like to keep the store going. It might pause for a moment, like as far as inventory, or anything moving really, but I'm just closing my store. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have to find a private studio to be able to do any sort of microblading. I'm still going to be doing makeup and I could do microblading out of Harlow Collective, which is the salon that my friend owns. It's in Seattle. And uh, I just, I really want to find something local. So I prefer to just find something that's remote. The dream would be to sit here and film beauty videos for a brand. And I've got to go move out. That's the only other thing. When I close my store, uh, when you do it mid lease, which I have no choice, I can't keep wasting money on this place. Um, when you do it mid lease, you have three days to get out. So I have to go. We're not like, I'm on fine terms with the landlords, by the way. Like I've been actually talking to her back and forth for like a week about this and like my options. I've reached out to people asking if anybody wanted to take over my store. I have mentioned how I would like to have people come in and do pop-ups to help alleviate some of the stress of the rent. But at this point, I don't even want to bother with any of that. I just want to cut my ties, cut my losses and be done with it. So I have been trying other options this is where we're at now <laughs> just so you know um wow ramble okay i got i gotta you know what i'll probably do to be honest i'm gonna end this video now if i have the time i can do a bonus video this weekend because my husband is gone and i have all this extra time when he's not around if i do that then i do that if not i'm gonna end this video because that was long Ugh, dear <laughs> so i'm gonna end this go edit it and have this up on sunday and thank you for joining me on Vlogmas Week 2. Next week, uh, maybe I'll go a little bit more into the store stuff, but I really just want to, like, squash it, honestly. I'm just, like, over it. <laughs> but um, it is sad. And <laughs> Somebody's hacking up along. Um, for any of you who are, like, here for that kind of content we're excited about the store and, like, just all of that, I'm still doing that. I'm still going to be going thrifting and adding stuff to a store and whatnot. It's just not a physical store. So it's cool because you guys can still shop online. But... Anyway, I'm done. I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching this week's vid. Subscribe if you're not. Give me a thumbs up if you would like. Makes me feel good. And I'll see you guys on next week's Vlogmas 3. Bye.